Hello, everybody. Welcome back to OMB Reviews. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope we're doing well. Today, we're doing a box office preview for this upcoming weekend, which actually already sees the release of Bob Marley, One Love, and Madame or Madame Webb, which came out yesterday on Ash Wednesday, or as the public likes to say, Valentine's Day, the Feast of St. Valentine, obviously trumped by Ash Wednesday. Blessed Lent, by the way, to everyone out there. But let's just say right now, the projections for Madame Webb are not looking good at all. I, I mean, we're talking about numbers that are so anemic. This film is right now looking to have a worse opening over six days compared to the initial opening of the film Morbius from 2022. And if anyone remembers Morbius, that film was a massive disappointment, not only uh, intellectually, but also financially as well. It's looking like Madame Webb is going to be following in its footsteps and doing even worse. And if the film is as bad as I've been hearing that it is, and we're talking here about it being like objectively bad at a writing level, at just every single level of filmmaking, apparently. Um, oh boy, buckle your seatbelts. Just when you thought that Marvel and Disney were going to be some of the worst performers at the box office, looks like Sony's now coming in to say, <laughs> hold my beer. Anyway, we're going to talk about that. And, of course, Bob Marley, One Love, amongst others. Before going any further, though, please make sure you smash that like button. Light up that fire button over on our team. Smash the rumble button as well. And also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with that bell notification. That way you know every time a video or live stream goes live on the channel. So, indeed, Bob Marley, One Love from Paramount right now is projected to be a better opening than Madam Web. And so, you know, most people, if you were to tell them even just a few years ago, oh, yeah, do you think that a Sony Spider-Verse film, right, something that's rooted in Spider-Man, something rooted in just the Spider-Verse in general, um, is going to somehow do worse in its opening weekend than a film about Bob Marley? Something tells me probably most people would be like, that's just silly. I mean, again, people like Bob Marley and everything like that. Seeing the trailer for the film, though, for Bob Marley One Love, it just doesn't really look all that compelling to me. It just kind of looks like a generic movie that some people might enjoy, but it's going to be mostly forgettable by the end of the day. It's not going to be a film that's going to really change the course of history, essentially. Um, but even then, right, people would still probably be laughing in your face saying, no, of course, Sony's going to end up winning that. Well, apparently not. Right now, the projections from Box Office Pro for this upcoming six-day holiday is something around $19.6 million for Bob Marley in its three-day weekend forecast with only a measly $14 million from Adam Webb, which is actually one of the worst box office openings that we've seen recently, and that's saying something with some terrible openings for films like from Argyle and others. And over the four-day course of its weekend, it's actually projected to make only $16.3 million, projected total through Monday, February 19th, meaning including all of the you know Wednesday uh, showings and everything like that, $22.6 million. And so essentially an opening weekend of $22.6 million dollars so that's including also president's day uh so yeah what we're seeing right now is some pretty bad numbers just for a point of comparison right of the 22.6 million dollars if we put that up against some other films and so when we have the films morbius this film had a traditional opening with previews on thursday going into friday venom let there be carnage had the same thing that was venom 2 and then the first venom film right also had a traditional opening when you look at those films right morbius Right, in its opening weekend, its traditional three-day opening had an opening of thirty-nine million dollars. Obviously, that is significantly less compared to Venom: Let There Be Carnage, with an adjusted for inflation ninety-one million dollars. The original Venom film ninety-two million dollars. So, just as a as a point of of reference for this, right, as far as just how bad this film is right now expected to do, is expected to be about ten to fifteen million dollars less than the opening weekend for Morbius, and it's going to have been open for more days. So right now, with the kind of tracking that this film is seeing, we're seeing a movie that's going to do worse than Morbius. And Morbius itself only made $162 million at the box office on a budget of $75 million. Add to that that Madam Web right now is projected to have cost an extra $5 million, so $80 million, and is going to be doing worse than Morbius by, by, by a certain percentage, like by, by a pretty sizable percentage at that. I mean, we're talking about a movie where does it even hit $100 million worldwide? If it does, how much above $100 million worldwide does it actually get? I mean, we're getting to the point now where if Hollywood, and obviously we know that the answer to this, but but if Hollywood does not wake up to the fact that people don't want these type of garbage stories where you're taking comic characters in general, and then one, either not actually respecting the source material, or two, giving a movie that's trying to focus on certain elements, like and obviously in this one, it's all about female empowerment, 
general audiences in this space, right, in the comic movie space, are not interested in those kinds of stories. Most people in this space want just really good, fun action movies. They don't want to be preached to. They don't want to have just bad stories because your premise was, hey, let's tell a female-centric story. Okay, what are we going to do with it? I don't know. As long as it's female-centric, that's all that matters. It seems to be the case when it comes to these kinds of movies, though, is that they're only trying to focus on the message. They're only trying to focus on trying to get those political points to get those checks off of the list. But when you do that, you lose all creativity. You, you lose any and all ability to craft compelling storytelling. And so that, of course, is now, especially because of how movie habits have changed so much because of the rise in ticket prices, the rise in just, you know, prices of everything, right? Despite what, what people might be saying about what's currently going on with our economy, it is clear that people only want to see movies that they think will be entertaining. I mean, what a concept, right? That's kind of how it used to be. Though, of course, before the pandemic, before anything like that, people had a lot more expendable income to be able just to waste it on a film like a Morbius, you know, or like a Madam Web. But clearly that's just not happening in this time um, anymore. So just again, for that reminder, $39 million was the domestic opening weekend for Morbius. And that was a bad weekend. That was an abysmal weekend based on the kind of numbers that that franchise, right, that the world of Spider-Man have been seeing prior. And right now, this film projected over the course of from Wednesday through Monday, through President's Day, through its holiday weekend, is only getting $22.6 million. And when you take that in comparison to the Bob Marley One Love, that makes the $35.3 million also really not look all that great. Now, it's better to an extent because Bob Marley One Love is not the same kind of movie, right? It's a very different genre. It's a very different target audience. And so that number is going to be a lot stronger for Bob Marley One Love than it is for a film like Madam Web. For instance, think about it how if an Iron Man, right, or one of the MCU movies was making these kinds of numbers, would say, ooh, yeah, that, that's not the kind of numbers these films usually make. The same thing also to be said with, with Madam Web, right? Because that's the reason why I bring up that comparison, because really this is a part of that extended Spider-Man universe. So that's why Venom 2, the original Venom, and Morbius are good comparisons. And so when it's not even living up to Morbius' standards, you know that you're in a lot of trouble. All right, so yeah, not looking good at all. The Chosen, uh, season four, by the way, this is now releasing three more episodes. So remember, this was in the top three in the previous weeks, and the reason why was because it was episodes one through three of this new season. Well, now they're releasing, that's why it says new here, episodes four through six, and so Nat is actually expected to bring this into the top three for the weekend once again, with making around $6.7 million. And so this, again, Fathom Events, much more limited in its release, much more limited in its target audience, and so the fact it's doing this well is still very impressive. Argyle is expected to make $33.9 million, a 38% drop there, so this film, as I'd mentioned previously, it's just not doing much of anything. It's not going to be able to really, you know, break any boundaries it's not going to be able to bring um you know anybody really out to the theater it's going to be end up a, a massive financial loss for um obviously universal is the one who is giving this out but this is a film that was bought by uh, uh apple for 200 million dollars and they're not making that money back based on the numbers that we're seeing right now. Migration is actually going to go up 2% according to these numbers right here. Wonka dropping 12%. Beekeeper 24%. Anyone with you dropping 17%. Lisa Frankenstein in the second weekend will be dropping 46%. And Mean Girls will be dropping further at 38%. So uh, towards the bottom of the list. And so what we're seeing from there is, again, pretty standard drops. Lisa Frankenstein not looking like it's doing much of anything at this point. Doesn't, again, 50, 40, 46% drop, right? That's not a terrible drop. But for a smaller film that didn't make a whole lot in its opening weekend, expected to only have eight million dollars by the end of its um by by its monday again not not looking all that great to begin with uh pretty strong holds though for the beekeeper for wonka for migration obviously going up a bit argyle even though again 30 percent is not the worst of drops off in the third or fourth week um you know from its initial release it's just not making enough money here or anywhere in order for it to be really justified but again i just want to go back to that main point about madam web because i think it has to go without saying right when we take a look at these numbers further remember that when it comes to the ticket prices for when morbius was out back in 2022 the average movie ticket price in 2022 was i believe hovering around 10 to 11 dollars still right maybe you know maybe 12 dollars at max Right now, you're seeing average ticket prices being closer to $14 million. Sorry, not $14. $14 per ticket. So when you take into account the average ticket price, and you take into account how, especially if you go back to 2018, Venom's being a lot less, think about how many more millions of tickets Venom sold versus Venom 2 versus Morbius and now versus Madam Web. So Madam Web is going to be the worst performing in history of this franchise, of this extended universe that it's ever seen. 
And this is, again, a trend that we've been seeing. Look at what happened with the MCU, the Marvels. A lot of comparisons to be made there, right? The Marvels ended up being the worst MCU opening weekend of all time, even without having to adjust for inflation, things like that. It was still the worst on paper. Worst second weekend drop-off of all time. The worst box office of MCU history. We're talking about some of the worst numbers. And so we're looking at that happening now from Adam Webb. And so I think the message needs to be, you know, loud and clear at this point. Though, of course, with a bunch of activists typically running these studios and making these decisions, they don't really care about whether or not it's financially viable or not. All they care about is the message, right? As Critical Drinker always like said, it's the message. Um, but, oh man, buckle up your seatbelts because right now, yes. Madam Web projected to do worse than Morbius by quite a bit, doing about half of what Morbius' opening weekend did if these projections hold. And there's always the chance that this film does a lot worse. And keeping in mind that this is also an extended release that Morbius did not have, I can't wait to see what the week two numbers are, what the week two drop-off is, where this film is by its second Sunday compared to the second Sunday of Morbius will tell us quite a bit because if this film is projected to do half of what Morbius did, you're talking about making not just less than $100 million, but significantly less than $100 million, 50 to $75 million potentially. But we have to, of course, wait for those international numbers to come in and a bunch of other stuff as well. So we will, of course, make that analysis happen over here on OMB Reviews and also on the articles that I write for GeeksandGamers.com in order to be able to further anal you know, give further analysis on this point. I did want to look this up real quick because, as you all know, I like to do things live here. We like doing things live to keep ourselves honest. But the film uh, One Love costs $70 million. Okay, I'm sorry. I look at a movie like this and I think this seems like a pretty nice little you know, small budget uh, independent movie. Right, because if you've seen the trailer for it, you could probably say that. Oh yeah, yeah, this I could see this film being made for maybe ten, twenty, thirty, forty max, seventy million dollars to make this thing. Oh boy, I I, I don't see how that film then is going to be able to do much, especially when you're trying to rest on the laurels of Lashana Lynch, who has been in some of the worst franchise movies in the MCU and uh, in <laughs> in James Bond, just not doing well really at all. I'm going to be very interested to see how this film does. Obviously, it's kind of movie where it might be able to to find its audience within that niche that sometimes you find with with movies like it. But uh, thirty five point three million dollar domestic opening versus seventy million dollar budget. That's not the best way to start off things. But anyway, what are y'all thoughts about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think that Madam Web is going to be the worst box office opening in the entire history of the Sonyverse? Let me know. And also, do you think Bob Marley, One Love, is going to do anything? Also, have you seen either of these movies? Been hearing a lot of bad things about Madame Webb, Madame Webb. I might be able to see it. If I do, I'll put my review up over on Criticless because it is an awesome site. Not even sponsored by them, but I still love the site anyway. Also, please be sure to vote in the Raven Awards. The Raven Award ballots are still live, so please be sure. Check out OMBReviews.com. Go to the Raven Awards tab and find the ballot there so that you can submit the best and worst in movies of 2023 Make your voice heard. Let's 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 get this Oscars boycott underway. Anyway, you guys are all amazing and beautiful. We'll have a wonderful rest of your day. A blessed beginning of your Lent. And as always, God bless. And now for a very special shout out to all of my February Chosen of Valhalla members, starting off with my Patreon supporters of Father Luca Illick, Rosetta Allen, check out her YouTube channel, Eagle Rider, and Miss Martin Muses, check out her YouTube channel by the same name. Also to my subscribe star peeps, Matt317, check out his Twitch channel by the same name, Mr. Roy and ZK Man, check him out over at xtheboundaries.co. And if you want your name shouted out at the end of every live stream and video, go ahead and check out the top link in the video description below where you can access things like podcast episodes that I do special for my members. I also do, of course, the verbal shout outs, also the listed shout outs, and a bunch of other things, including giveaways, access to a giveaways channel on my Discord, giving away Blu-rays and 4Ks. I've fallen behind a little bit, but I'm going to easily make that up for the month of February, so now is a great time to join to get access to that page. You guys are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful rest of your day. A blessed Lent, which starts in just a couple of days. And as always, God bless.